Hi everyone and welcome back again to Biology Circuit. In this video, I will discuss about absolute quantification method in real-time PCR. And these three parameters, y-intercept, slope and efficiency, correlation coefficient r square are important for assessing the performance of a reaction. So let's start. First of all, we need to understand how real-time PCR is different from a conventional PCR. In conventional PCR, what do we do? We do endpoint analysis. That means after the completion of a PCR reaction, we run the amplified product in an agarose gel. But in real-time PCR, that amplified product can be detected and measured as the reaction progresses. That means we can detect and measure the amplified product in real time. Now come to the quantification part. In real time PCR, there are two types of quantification method, relative quantification and absolute quantification. In this video, I will particularly talk about the absolute quantification method. So in an experiment where the samples of known quantity are serially diluted and amplified to generate a standard curve and then unknown samples are quantified by comparison with that curve. So to construct a standard curve, a template with known concentration is required and then we serially diluted that template and those dilutions serve as a standards. Okay, then the unknown samples and our standards are run in a same assay and after the completion of this run, we got this standard curve along the x axis logarithm of copy number of standards are plotted and their respective CT values are plotted along the y axis. Okay. Okay. Now come to the slope. Slope is the measure of a efficiency. So from this slope we can understand how accurate the reaction performs. Ideally, efficiency of a PCR reaction should be 100%. That means the template doubles after each thermal cycle during the exponential amplification. So for an ideal PCR reaction, the slope value should be minus 3.32. But there are many factors, experimental factors, uh, such as secondary structure, GC content of the amplicons, uh, which influence the reaction. And in that case, the slope might be varied between minus 3.10 to minus 5 point, minus 3.58. Okay. So, overall, considering all the factors, the efficiency between 90% to 110% is accepted for a real-time PCR. Now, come to the y-intercept and r-square y-intercept is the direct measure of sensitivity of a real-time PCR. y-intercept value directly corresponds to the theoretical limit of detection of a reaction. That means if the lowest copy number of target molecule is present in a reaction, then what could be the CT value? After which CT value that lowest number of target molecule can be detected? In this particular picture, you can see the y-intercept value is 42.90. That means if the lowest copy number of target molecule is present, after the CT value of 42.90, those molecules will be detected. Okay. And at last, come to the R-square. R-square value reflects the linearity of a standard curve. Okay. R-square basically is a measure of how will the data fit to a standard curve. For an ideal reaction, R square value should be 1. But in practically the R square value, the maximum R square value uh, is 0 0.99. So these three parameters, slope, y-intercept and R square, these are very important for assessing a performance of a real-time PCR especially the absolute quantification method and hope it will be helpful and if you like this video please subscribe to biology circuit and share it with your friends thanks for
for watching.